Hey guys, it's Kukli again with another ROM review and this time I've got one of the most popular and feature rich ROM available for Galaxy S3 so stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, uh, here you have it. It is the Bliss Pop ROM for Galaxy S3. It is one of the most feature rich ROMs available for S3. It's really nice. It's got tons of features. So let's get started. Here is a lock screen, which is the standard lollipop lock screen, which has the normal functions like uh, swipe up to unlock from this to have uh, your calls and that for camera so let's get to it so this here is the trebuchet launcher which is one of the best launchers right now it is it comes with cyanogen mod as i didn't mention before this is based on cyanogen mod 12.1 and has a lot of features built on top of it so you have one of the best packages available so yeah let's get into the settings menu and uh, show you what is available so in the about phone page you can see it is bliss pop the version is 3.9 which is the latest version i am waiting for 4.0 which should be a big release released quite some time ago so it does have a bit of arcade city to it um it is android 5.1.1 which is the latest version of android available for other versions other people so other than nexus which has a marshmallow um thing available so yeah gcc all of this you can see that is cool you does have a updates uh thing which i used to update from 3.8 to 3.9 so that was really good it does work now bliss pop has always been one of the most feature rich roms and it does have lots of features uh and just a quick mention you can see the settings uh boxes there which is a nice touch it really does give a personal touch to the rom it's really nice uh these are the options which makes bliss pop a really really different rom from the others so let's get started uh, first of all bliss interface now bliss interface is the interface settings it changes how you look it changes how you use your phone so it's really nice it does have displayed animation options on the top so it gives you ime ime animations i'm going to skimp a lot of them because you might have seen most of these options in other roms and i have already talked about it in my previous reviews of other roms so it really doesn't matter if i skimp over it so i might be doing that because there are a lot of things to cover and it's not going to be easy to cover this all in this one video so that's going to be a thing so yeah i am animation you can select interpolator exit animation enter animation you can do all of that over scroll effect which is something of a novelty in lollipop i haven't seen that you can actually have effect which is edge glow and bounce which is uh different if I may say, it is different. You do have over scrolling weight, which you can have heavy so that it really does bounce a lot. And uh, yeah, in the other options, you have toast animation, which is a toast which comes here after a task has been completed or not. You can have an animation for that. List view, one of my favorite ones in list view, alpha or uh, stack is something which I really like. Fold, unfold, you can have a lot of options here. Uh, wave interpolator for this. Uh, that's it's also nice. It does have that. System animation. System animation includes enter only animation which is entering into an app or an a setting which uh, gives you that pop up window or something like that. Reverse exit animation you can have that. Activity open, activity closed, task open, all of these can be uh, selected. This is that heavy uh, bounce animation or scroll effect so whatever it is it's there. Uh, scrolling cache. You can improve scrolling performance with the scrolling cache enabled. So, it will cause some memory but it will improve the scrolling animations and stuff so if you are more of a visual person you can enable that force enable uh, or you if you want more speed just disable if you want speed i don't think you will be using this rom honestly because it's not one of the performance rom which i have seen but it is it is a good performer because it is based on cm12 and uh, a stock user might feel this is like fast so yeah uh, scrolling modifiers you do have animation modifier modifiers which will give all of these options disable touch on screen off um, custom scrolling modifiers which will give friction overall distance overall uh, over fling distance all of this will be controlled with this so it is really nice um, identicons identicons was uh, it is a really 
old feature which I really like because if you have contact pictures without uh, well if you have contact without pictures you can use this to give pictures which is a 2d flat style picturing which is really nice floating window floating window is really nice because it gives you an app within an app while you're using something you can actually launch other app without disturbing whatever is in the background so that is really nice so this ones uh, allow you for enabling floating window from where you open like if you want to open something from app circle bar it will launch it in a uh, floating window so that is really nice because i use gesture anywhere a lot i mean i use it every time if i get a chance so uh when i open something in gesture animation like uh, maybe my app drawer or maybe like a notepad uh, i don't need to close the background application maybe i'm whatsapping i have i i'm watching a movie i want to do a whatsapp uh, I can just open the floating window, send send their message, and then go back to watching the movie. So that is really nice. And also heads up animation, which is the uh, heads up stuff. When uh, something gets, if you click on it, it will open in a floating window rather than the full app. So that is really nice. Uh, heads up again. Heads up is this awesome feature. Show quick access button, which is in the status bar. Swipe behavior. You can actually uh, have hide and dismiss, which is the default one. You can click this for hide, hiding always. It will not dismiss if you swipe right or left. Uh, normally, it is swipe up for dismiss. Uh, swipe up for hiding. Right or left for dismissing. So you can have that. That is really nice. Touch outside behavior. If you touch anything outside, it will do this, which is high notification on touch outside and on home button press. So that is nice. Timeout for the uh, heads up display, which is heads up notification, which is six seconds is default. You can act that. Do not disturb and blacklist. You can also add apps to that list. Lock screen options. Now lock screen options has a lot of features like hide carrier on label. You can actually hide your carrier. Uh, show power on secure lock screen if you have a pin power menu will not be disabled uh, enabled so that is really nice um, long press lock into uh, icon to sleep so that is really nice I mean okay one more thing which I uh, really like in this is that if you click double click the lock button it will uh, lock screen it will again close it so if you're if you use your phone for checking time a lot you can just do this and it will sleep again so that is really really nice I really like that it used to be a feature with uh, Kit Kats with the glow dot thing but uh, it's no longer a feature in uh, lollipop so I am happy to see that back long press icon to sleep uh, middle icons you can actually have icons which this is actually one of those uh, things uh, which was introduced in uh, slim LP where you can get a row of icons or row of shortcuts which you can uh, enable uh, you can launch from this uh, lock screen so that is really nice you can also customize the colors text icon colors weather information you can enable weather information in your lock screen which is a really good thing uh, it's really nice uh, clock widget which is a c clock widget from uh, cyanogen mod so you can have that that is really nice music visualizer you can enable or disable that some people do prefer it disable like myself i don't really like that so you can have that also Navigation options. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, of course, gesture anywhere is there. Button options. You can actually change the uh, bindings of hardware buttons, and you can change a lot of stuff. Volume key answer. Vol wake up device. Uh, volume default. Uh, playback controls using the volume key. Where are you going? <laughs> Playback controls with using the volume key. All of that is available in this option. Navigation bar. You can enable navigation bar and have everything there also because I have started using this because in my Z3, all as I have already said, it doesn't have hardware keys and this is the layout. I get confused a lot, so I do use this a lot of times. So if if you don't want to use the for navigation, you can each uh, you can actually give customized buttons and you can uh, you can delete all of these and you will you will have an option to have custom apps there so that is really cool so yeah custom arrows uh, show arrows while typing all of that this is a very very useful thing so yeah that's nice app circle bar you can enable app circle bar to actually have uh, something like uh, this this which will give you all the shortcuts or something like that and you can actually include apps in here which will clo uh, which will open at your command you can also have that in the floating window which is a really nice feature you can have that uh, app bar is also same but uh, kind of different it, it gives you uh, shortcuts or it gives you apps at your fingertips so that's really nice gesture anywhere one of my favorite features which you can use to do 
almost anything activity tasker tasks anything like that it's really nice slim pie is a very good feature i mean um if you don't want to use uh this thing you can have slim pie and it does work out really nicely now notification drawer these options include all the uh tiles and all that disable Q qs on uh quick settings on lock screen if you can if you don't want that disable a status bar header you can in you can change the header you can show weather etc etc all of these are available smart pull down with dismissible persistent or something uh power menu in expanded status bar you can also have that quick settings panel now this one okay this is one of the most cluttered uh quick setting panel i've ever seen okay. and i don't do not mean that in a negative way there are just so many options last time i counted there were 45 or 47 options available so that is incredible there are a lot of options here so you can go ahead and see that i mean it's a lot of stuff so you can just scroll through it it does have a lot of options including corpus which is one of my favorite battery saver is also there which is a lollipop feature so you do have that so that is really nice uh slim actions which is a set of actions which slim rom and so that is working quick setting color option you can customize the color on each of them background uh, x uh, icon text or the colors you can customize vibrate on touch number of tiles per row you have four or five i prefer four because it gives you everything in one page well probably not for this rom but for uh, everything else it gives you in one page might have to go for five for this one so yeah power menu option you can actually enable one click reboot uh screenshot screen recorder screenshot delay you can set to up to 30 second delay so that if you want to do something there you can uh flashlight is a, is a is a welcome feature you can actually have flashlight here and it will work so that is really cool um which well, i per personally like because it is some, one of the things which i use frequently sound panel device lockdown settings shortcut you can also have settings there it is Full, fully fully filled rom so that is why i was saying that now status bar options the status bar options include all of the stuff which we are familiar with uh clock and date you have a uh, center clock and all that so it does work out really nicely center clock fun selection even fun selection i would select a roberto com condensed fun because i really like that um uh, you have battery status you can change the uh, percentage position you can change the circle to a bar or a fixed one just text everything you can have that uh, battery bar options you can enable battery bar and that would be working too so that is really nice you can get uh, off of the battery icon altogether uh, temperature uh, super user indicator show bluetooth icon you can also enable that and uh, brightness with the uh, status bar slide is good it's a very good in, uh, inclusion so yeah that is it in the bliss interface settings which is one of the biggest ones so yeah it does have a uh, dark blaze which i found to be missing in slim rom which is the creator of tldr uh, trds which is the real dark slim so it is available here and it does turn everything black if you are uh, if you roll like that it is really nice it does have an equalizer which is the audio fx it does work i mean i'm not a huge fan of software equalizers but you can have that it's really nice it also does have themes which is one of the best theming uh one of the best thing about cyanogemon 12.1 it does offer you themes which renews the experience of using your phone again so that you're not bored with it so it is really really good uh sounds it does have a, a few options you can in a, even enable the steps which is really nice parcel timeout the uh the heads up whatever that comes up it will time out in three seconds so you can have that sounds launch music app when you connect your uh, headphones advanced option include vibration intensity all of that music controls i'm sorry uh safe headset volume play screenshot sound all of that is included here vibration intensity is here so it will work out nicely the display setting you do have smart cover option which is uh, kind of like uh, okay this is this will work with most of the covers which you have uh, have you seen that uh, one which was released with the s3 it will work with that uh, control sleep okay turn uh, screen off and the lid closes it will use the um, uh, the proximity sensor to have that control wake turn screen on and the lid open so it does work i mean it 
it eliminates a third party application so that is it i personally don't use it but uh it's nice if you do and it can work out so it's really nice you do have live display which is a really nice thing for uh temperature uh for your eyes and for the battery life so it can include cool and warm temperatures in your display so that it doesn't hurt you it does have ambient display and it does work out uh, and I have tested it. It does work. It does right. Uh, it does uh, look really cool But it is all grayscale and being an AMOLED display. It is quite useful for battery life. So that is really nice It does have a uh, cast screen expandable desktop a font sizes. You can change that uh, Advanced display settings include LCD DPI density lock screen options includes normal options Which you will find in any other lollipop ROM you have a swipe um, swipe uh, Gesture, which is something which I appreciate. Gesture is available in other uh, CM12 ROMs also. So I really like Gesture one because it is much easier to use it than anything else. Notifications, you can also uh, enable or disable how your notifications are hand handled. When your device is locked, do you want to show the notification or do not? I would just do not show the notification because that defeats all the purpose of having the device locked if you if other people can see your notifications now battery life um i received quite some flack for not uh discussing about the battery life in my previous rom that was because as i've already said i haven't engaged the device uh the s3 i have been away from s3 for some time now and um i didn't really get a um what should i say feel for the battery life yet but I will say this that the battery life in here is not the best. I would say the Slim ROM had a better battery life, but with all these features running in the background, it is really difficult for you to get a full day of battery life. So, if you are really careful, if you don't do a lot, if you just call and do stuff, mm -hmm. come on. If you are using a custom ROM on your phone, you are not just calling uh, your loved ones with the phone. So. Yeah, it's not it, it's pretty hard to get through one day of uh, usage with this ROM. So yeah, just a heads up. Now, what else do we have here? Uh, you do have a uh, multiple user home uh, system profiles, which I really don't use and I am not really interested in that. Privacy guard is here and whisper push also here because it is a CM12 ROM. You do have that. Uh, storage backup printing super Zoo is integrated, which I really appreciate. Performance setting, you can actually have kernel auditor. It's a really good app. It gives you a lot of controls, but after using Synapse from Archidroid, I found this to be lacking in a few areas. Well, not quite lacking, but uh, there were a few options which I was not able to access, like uh, turning off the course. I couldn't actually turn off the course. It will not turn it off. It will turn back on. I don't know why, but it is happening. So in the other stuff, uh, you have battery level and all that working. So it is nice. I mean, it does work out. So it has turned on the core number three, which I disabled. And in turn, it will also enable core four. I guess it is something about the power feature. I mean, whenever uh, device is using more power, device needs more power, it will turn it on back. I, I don't know, but it should have been in our control. So it's really cool. It does have that. So yeah, just a heads up. So I guess that much is it in the... Um, uh, settings so let's get to the apps now what all comes with this now as I've said Debussy is what I really like this layout because this is in the bottom and it is so much easier to reach than the other implementation so that is really cool so almost all the stuff which you would need are included like camera app is there file managers included so it is really nice uh, Play Store if you flash the g apps you need to flash g apps for this it doesn't come with it so just uh you need to know that yeah let me show you guys the antutu benchmark score which is uh, eh, i'll show you the benchmark i'll run the benchmark right now here it is <laughs> So there you have it, it is the Antutu Benchmark score of about uh, 25,600, which is not bad, I mean, it's, okay, after seeing 30,000 in Archeroid, it feels less significant, but it is a good, good performance-oriented ROM, so it's not a problem. So yeah, there you have it, that's the Benchmark score which I received, and it is pretty good, I mean, it's not bad.
in any form. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is one of the best ones. I mean, it does have a lot of things to, to say. It is almost the same as uh, the previous version, but yeah, it is good. So here is the Team Bliss boot animation, which is a really good one. I mean, it's quite really nice. I mean, it is really nice, so I don't have too much words for that. So yeah, that is it about the ROM. Um, I guess I've covered everything, almost everything at least. Uh, if I haven't covered, I mean, please forgive me. I will be getting back to you at the comment section. So yeah, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.